Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and in this RPG Maker AV tutorial, we're going to talk a little bit more about action sequences. Um, I'm going to show you a couple of the action sequences that I've just made uh, yesterday, and uh, then I'm going to show you how to make them, or I'm going to show you how to make one of them, and then I'll show you how to do the other one in another video so it doesn't drag on too long. But uh, I've made um, a healing based, uh, like limit break action sequence. <clears throat> Excuse me, and I've made one like offensive for the blue mage. So these are gonna take uh, 50 to 100 TP, probably 100 TP to use. But for the sake of this video, I've set them to zero. So for the blue mage, I've used an ice-based attack. It's a physical attack. Um, it's called Bitter End, and it's a freezing attack. Deals ice damage. It gives the party refresh, which if you're not familiar with what that does, it's a uh, like MP regen, and it causes the en enemy to be cursed with cold weakness. So at the beginning of the move. Um, it's going to curse them with the weakness to cold, so right off the bat, the move's going to do double damage. And the second one is for my healer class, the Spirit Dancer, Vermia, and this is called Holy Circle, and uh, this heals the whole party, and it gives haste to all party members, in addition to giving a regen, <clears throat> a MP re or a HP regen. So here's the bitter end. And depending on your animations that you've uh, already built, it'll look a little bit different, but the movement and everything will be the same. And it's kind of fun to, to play around with. You make a, a action sequence. Here's a holy circle. You can see they're floating in the air. And now we've got all these uh, <clears throat> extra states that's going to give us a bunch of extra uh, regen and, and life system. I'll show you the, the bitter end one more time and then I'll show you how to make it. <clears throat> Uh, as I was saying, it's kind of fun to, to just change one animation and see how that affects the, the action sequence. And for Holy Circle, I've uh, designed it with five party members, but you can just uh, take out one of the lines and make it for four. <clears throat> or if you have three, take out two of the lines. And... So let me show you how I've uh, made these action sequences. Uh, action sequences are one of my favorite things to work with. And, uh, and MV, and I think it's such a great addition. Uh, just to start off, you're going to need a couple plugins. You're going to need the core engine from the Anfly. You're going to need the battle engine core and the three action sequence uh, packs. So that's basically all you need for this. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below where you can get those. And uh, um, so we'll probably do Holy Circle this time, and then in the next video I'll do Bitter Day. So uh, make a new uh, skill, call it Holy Circle, give it an icon, or what, call it whatever you want. Uh, give it a description. We're going to make a state that uh, gives the party haste. If you're using the ATV system, then uh, this will make your characters get more turns. Uh, and we're also going to have it get regen. Now this is a built-in one uh, with the new project, so you won't have to make a state for that. But uh, select your skill type, give it whatever cost you want. I'm probably going to give it a 100 TP cost, like a limit break move, since it's so powerful. Uh, I select certain, certain hit, give it whatever animation you want. Message, required weapon, up to you. The damage type, we're going to select HP Recover. The element is holy, but you can change it if you want. Uh, I would definitely keep HP Recover because it will change uh, how this works. Make sure you set the scope to all allies. And this is going to be mainly in the whole action sequence. So let's take a look at this uh, action sequence. So we have uh, our setup action first. So we're going to display action. That's going to. Uh, Show the, the name on the top. Perform start. It's going to make uh, the caster move forward a little bit. But we're going to move all the actors anyway. So some of these things you can take out. And I recommend you, you take this as a template and change it up. Make it your own version of it. So we're going to move all the actors forward by 350, uh, 350 pixels. And then it's going to take 20 frames. And we're going to wait for that movement. We're going to hide the battle um, heads up display because we get a better full screen view. Uh, we're going to make all the allies float. 
move actor 1 to this point on the screen, 1080 by 180 by 20 for 20 frames, uh, and move actor 2, 1000 by 360 by, for 20 frames. Then for some reason, uh, the caster was turning backwards for this, so I had to throw this in there. You can move this around above this or below this to see what, where it works for you. So um, I'm, ha I'm having the, the user face forward, and you can use this. I'm also going to try to copy paste this in the description if you don't want to copy it all, but it may not take all the any brackets or anything. So, And it's also cool to just look at this and learn, because then you can make your own action sequences, and that makes the game really fun. Uh, move actor 3 to this point, 1080, 540, 20 frame. Move actor 4 to this point, 1150, 360, 20. <clears throat> move actor 5 to this point at uh, 1080, 360, 20. We're going to wait for that movement so they get to their point before it starts. No, <clears throat> eventually, I mean, at first I had them all just standing in, in air and floating, and I'm like, this kind of looks funny. So I tried to make a victory motion, but then it still, it looked okay. But I thought the motion chant uh, for all of your allies in this case we're using friends is the, the term uh, it looks really cool because it looks like they're all casting a spell and it's like, uh, like it, it's fitting uh, then we're going to show animation this will be different for you uh, depending on what what uh, particular animation you wanted to display so change this number around a little bit i'm using 167 it'll be completely different for you but uh, try a few different ones and see how it looks then we're going to wait for that animation we're going to flash the screen white uh, for 45 frames then we're going to tint the screen Straight 70s across for 30 frames. Just going to brighten it up a little bit. And that's it for the setup action. Now we're going to begin the whole action. So we're going to show an animation. Um, this doesn't seem to like, I don't know if I've got, I've got this one right. But we're going to wait for that anyway. That might be the casting animation. Um, then we're going to add a state. So uh, this state 82 is our refresh. Uh, no, this is not refresh. This is our haste state. So this is how you would add states. Uh, in an action sequence without going to effects, you just go add state colon and then say actors or enemies or uh, actor one or whatever you want. Allies, there's like a bunch of commands. Look at the help file in the action sequence uh, plugins because just go through them and they're really, really helpful. Um, then we're going to play, uh, I'm going to show you how to make the state after, after we're done here. We're going to sh show another animation <clears throat> on all the actors because we just added a state so we're showing an animation for that. We're going to wait for that animation. Uh, we're going to show another animation. This is really flashy, but we're going to wait for that animation. We're going to add another state, and then we're going to show another animation, and we're going to wait for that animation. Then we're going to uh, do an action effect that's going to issue all the healing. And then we're going to take off their float. We're going to perform finish. That's going to bring them back to standing where they normally are. We're going to tint the screen back to normal, and we're going to show the heads-up display. And then we're going to close off that whole action. So that's basically it for the action sequence. I'm going to try to copy-paste that for you. But still, you know, just listening to what I'm talking about can be helpful, and going to the help file will even be more helpful. So, um, go to your states now, and we're going to create a haste state. doesn't matter what number you call it, but reference that number in the action sequence. Uh, when you go to add state uh, 82, this is going to be your refresh, or your, I'm sorry, your haste state. Uh, so just change this number to whatever state you make this state on. So for our haste state, we're going to give it a name, we're going to give it an icon, uh, remove at the end of battle, turn in, I gave it 7 8 turns, it's pretty long, it's pretty generous, but you can drop that down if you want. Um, <clears throat> any messages that you want, it's up to you. Uh, basically you're going to add a parameter, so you just go to param, parameters, and you're going to go to agility. <clears throat> so we're going to add agility at 120%, and what that's going to do is give a 20% uh, bonus to the agility, and that's going to speed up the ATV bar. Uh, then we're going to just do a little bonus of attack speed. So attack speed is on attack, tab 3, uh, attack speed 50. So that means when they're doing a regular attack, they will charge. It doesn't make their, their, their ATV gauge go faster, but it makes their charge gauge go faster when they've already decided to do a physical attack. So this isn't a giant buff. 50 seems like a lot, but it's really not. Um, and the note tags, if you're using the ATV system, battle system, then that you can use this. If not, you don't need this. But basically, you're just going to have uh, brackets ATB start 25%. Uh, Matter of fact, we don't even need that because this is a skill that you have to use in battle. So I'm going to remove that. Um, you won't be able to use it before battle, battle and it's going to be removed at the end of battle. So there's no point in uh, having it start the turn like that. <clears throat> well, you know what? I might leave that because what if I want to make a skill that you can use at the beginning of battle? or uh, before the battle starts. I think that's why I had it in there in the first place. 
because I'm not only using this skill through a limit break, but because I'll have it in other skills as well. So you can copy paste this. ATB turn, colon, plus 25%. That means when the bar fills up, it'll go back. Instead of going back to the very beginning, it'll go to 25%. So it's like uh, you're getting 25% more action time with haste on. Um, so that's it for the haste state. Now the re regen state should already be in uh, 14 for you. HP regen. So you can pretty much just leave that how it is, but you can change it if you want. And uh, that's basically it for the Holy Circle. There's no common events that you have to do. Uh, one thing I didn't talk about is the formula. I'm using uh, A.MAT times 15 plus 100, uh, but you can change this. It's up to you. Uh, I've also allowed it to critical heal, but it's also up to you. And the variance, you know, your choice. But that'll do it for uh, this video. Thank you guys for watching. Continue to like, favorite, share, and subscribe. If you want more content like this, if you have a suggestion or if you'd like to make a special request, please do so in the comments below. You guys are amazing. Thank you for all your support, and we'll see you in the next tutorial.